There is nothing quite like match day inside a football stadium, especially when there's so much on the line. The build-up has been intense, and now we just can't wait for us all to begin. It's anyone's guess, though, which team will come out on top in front of a packed house. We're live on EA TV. And welcome to Italy, welcome to Parma, the venue city for this match. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by Stuart Robson. And we're very much looking forward to bringing you league action today. What do you anticipate seeing, Stuart? Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. So we have an early booking here to report, Stuart. Yeah, and I think the referee's absolutely right. He's just making it clear to all the players out there he's not going to take any messing about here. <laughs> Ranocchia. And defensive play to be applauded. Mann. Difficult to stop him. Options in the middle. Might go ahead, in it goes, an early goal, no wonder they're celebrating. Well, here it is again, and credit to the goal scorer, but you have to ask questions of the keeper. He's got to have that near post cover for me, no wonder he's frustrated with himself. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Lucioni. Branocchia. Jacopo Segre. Claudio Gomez. Segre. A oh, tremendous block. And really pressing their opponents. Using his strength to shield the ball. Franocchia. Gomez. Looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game. Segre. And a goal, the equaliser. Superb entertainment. Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. While the movement in the box is equal to it, it's such good timing. What a goal. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. Estevez. Benedicak. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. He's got to score! And a goal it is to put them in front again! No less than they deserve! Well, look at this again. No real power, but great understanding of the situation. That's an excellent goal. Well, 
Well, underway again. It's a narrow 2 1 lead as things stand. Ranocchia. Gomez. Good tackle, take it away. Well, the referee wasn't going to let that go. Segre. Insigne. Di Francesco. Textbook defending inside the box. Benedicak. Gianluca Di Chiara. Well, that's a pretty low line at the moment. Plenty of forward momentum here. But can they produce? He has time to play it over. Oh, great defending. Lucioni. Diakite. Now Fabio Lucioni. So, getting close to the half-time interval, and it's going with home advantage, albeit not by a lot. Stuart, what have you made of what you've seen so far? Well, it's been a lively first half, hasn't it? Both sides have looked dangerous, but I think they do have a bit more guile in the top third of the pitch, and that's been key to them leading at the moment. Well, possibilities in the centre. Here's, must be, marvellous anticipation. And stopping the danger. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. And the emphasis is on creativity. Well, no way through. And the electronic board showing one additional minute. Adrian Benedicak. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half-time here. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, he's been brilliant. He finished his goals really well. He's shown a great awareness of how to find space and his movement has caused them all sorts of problems. Surely he'll get his hat-trick in the second half. <laughs> Away they go again. Second half is underway here. be able to set up the chance shot attempted no strong hand on the ball Ranocchia and very deftly cut out Chance to do damage. A fine reading of the situation. Roberto Insigne. And defensive play to be applauded. Well, no stopping him. It should be goalkeeping of the highest order. Well, he's got to be pleased with that save. It's absolutely magnificent. 
Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Oh, a really good header, but the goalkeeper there to cover up. Danger averted for now, but it'll be another corner. And possibilities here. Moving the ball nicely in search of an equaliser. Chance to cross. Well, that's how to shield the ball and control it. Gianluca Di Chiara. Now, do they mean business on this occasion? Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. Claudio Gomez. Insigne. Segre. Well, the defenders know they need to get tighter. Can't really allow runs like that. And space to cross it. Foiling his opponent completely. And he's done it. Parity again. A magnificent game unfolding. Well, here's the replay, and it has been coming. They've played some great football in this game, and they fully deserve this goal. So underway again, and it's a story of parity. Two goals apiece in this one. Adrian Benedicak. And the referee allowing the game to flow, using advantage. Can they create something from here? Well, disappointing end to the move. Roberto Insigne. Getting forward. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Claudio Gomez. Insigne. The danger not over. Ranocchia. Trying to chisel a chance out of it. Vigorous defending. Oh, can you believe it? With so little time left, surely that will be the winner. Amazing scenes here. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. But there's still plenty for him to do. Under all sorts of pressure from the defender, he's just able to keep him at bay and finishes with a plum. It's a great goal. A big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. Well, didn't go to plan in the end. There might very well be late excitement. Five minutes left. And the margin just one. Insigne. 
Claudio Gomez. Now he must favour the cross. Credit to them for winning back possession. And we will have a couple of additional minutes at the end here. And there goes the final whistle, much to the disappointment of their supporters. Yes, Derek, it was a tight game between two very good sides, but they lost concentration late on, and it's cost them dearly. They'll need to get over that quickly. And in the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Stuart. Well, that was a great performance. His understanding of how to find space was brilliant today. And, of course, he scored two really good goals.